In example one, uh, we have a table that provides the number of births in thousands per month in 2009, and also the expected proportion for each month based off the births from the year before. So what we're trying to test is the claim that the number of births per month in the United States remains constant from year to year. So in this case, we'll test the null hypotheses, or test the hypotheses. Or let's say that a little bit differently. We'll test the following hypotheses. So our null hypothesis will be the statement that the distribution of births in 2009 matches the proposed distribution. So if our 2009 births match those expectations, then we could say that, yes, births per month remaining constant from year to year. Versus the alternative hypothesis that the distribution of births does not match the proposed distribution. So we have our hypotheses. Switching over to StatCrunch, we'll select Stat, Goodness of Fit, and then Chi-Squared Test. So what we're running the more full name of this test is the Chi-Squared Goodness of Fit Test. We'll select the observed column, the expected column. The hypotheses are very consistent from test to test, so there's nothing we have to update there. So in this case, our observed column is actually the number of births from 2009. So that'll be variable two. And our expected column are those expected percentages or that expected given distribution. So variable one. So if we click compute, we generate a p-value in this case of 0 0.9999. So our p-value is equal to 0 0.9999 which in this case is greater than our value for alpha, which is 0 0.05. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis. When we fail to reject that, what we're saying is there is not sufficient evidence to discredit the assumption that the distribution of births fits the proposed distribution. So there's not sufficient evidence to discredit that original null hypothesis, which again is always our initial assumption. So if we can't discredit that assumption, that means births in 2009 matches that proposed distribution. So this would suggest that births per month remains constant from year to year. At least looking at this data. So from 2008 to 2009, births per month remain constant. In example two, we want to consider a similar problem. But in this case, rather than comparing our observed births to some given expected distribution, like we had in example one, now we have this language in the problem. We want to test the claim that births per month are uniformly distributed. So we've talked a little bit about different types of distributions this semester. We've talked about normal distributions, binomial distributions. When we talk about the idea of something being uniformly distributed, distributed, what we mean is that every single value occurs equally as often. So in this case, we have 12 different outcomes. You're either born in January, February, March, up through December. So that would mean our expected proportions would be 1 12th, because you have a 1 12th chance of being born in January one twelfth chance of being born in February, and so on. So if our values are uniformly distributed, then our expected percentages would be one twelfth, one twelfth, one twelfth, one twelfth, one twelfth, converted to percentages. So a slightly different statement than what we had in the first example. So we're using the same information. So again, we'll select stat, goodness of fit, and then chi-squared test. We'll still select variable 2 as our observed, vo um, observed values, since these are the actual births that occurred in 2009. And then instead of selecting an expected column, we'll select all cells in equal proportion. So that's going to tell StatCrunch 
basically that idea of these values are uniformly distributed. Click Compute, and we get a p-value of 0 0.7354. So in this case, we probably should start off by stating our hypotheses. which will be very similar to what we had before, slightly different. So in this case, we're saying births per month are uniformly distributed. So that's a more concise way of saying our observed values match that expected distribution. Versus the alternative that births per month are not uniformly distributed. So again, a shorter way, shorter way of saying that our observed values don't match the expected distribution. So our p-value in this case is 0 0.7354, which is greater than our value for alpha. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So again, we're saying there is not sufficient evidence. to discredit the original assumption that births per month are uniformly distributed. So in this case, the claim is supported. <clears throat> we don't have enough information to discredit the assumption that births per month are uniformly distributed. So that claim is supported. We can't discredit that statement. So based off this data, we would conclude that our, our births per month are uniformly distributed.